What's going on, people? You just joined the Abomination. Appreciate y'all coming through, checking out this video. Of course, y'all know that. Today, we're about to talk about... So, there's this conversation, all right? This conversation been happening online of who's Captain America, basically, all right? And there's two clear, distinct sides, all right? You got people saying Steve Rogers is Captain America and forever will be Captain America. And you have people saying Sam Wilson is Captain America. Now, I'm of the opinion on the side of Steve Rogers as Captain America. Um, yes, there have been other people who have uh, taken that name or, you know, should have been or were Captain America at some point. Um, but the thing is, they held those titles for a short period of time um, and they were given back to the OG um, for different reasons, as well as any other uh, legacy or established character that has had his quote unquote mantle um being passed down uh to to somebody else or allowing somebody else to uh hold it now i know some examples that people will give is like uh well you know uh dick grayson was batman um well batman was dead uh so you know or you know supposed dead so you know the gotham needed a batman they need somebody a symbol of hope you know what i'm saying to uh, to protect the people um, so Dick uh, reluctantly took up on that role. Um, Damien, you know what I'm saying? This is, uh, that that's his son. That's something that was passed down to him. Green Lantern. So John Stewart is Green Lantern. Well, there's a Green Lantern core. So there's multiple people uh, with this ring, with this power. It makes sense. But when you got shit like Batwing and uh, War Machine and, you know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not of those type characters. Uh, I they don't really appeal to me. All right, now Falcon. I found out about Falcon from the the show uh, Superhero Squad. Now that was my first introduction to in Falcon, the black guy, you know, with the wings. You know, he flying around and shit. He's this uh, soldier, and he has a pet bird. So I was like, oh shit, animal sidekick, animal companion. So he can telepathically, you know, look through and communicate uh, uh, birds and like see with their vision and shit. Uh, so he was a, a pretty cool character to me. Um, and the MCU took more of a soldier route uh, with Falcon and connecting him to uh, Captain America. But but that show gave me him in his uh, like original concept, uh, like I said, which was cool. So if that was explored more in the MCU, um, you know, that would have been that would have been a cool original black character that they developed. But instead, they went that militaristic route, and you kind of see now that okay, it was to uh, to have Cap validate him in his transition uh, to to whiteness. <laughs> so Falcon is a cool character, all right. But today we specifically, or I'm bringing the news to y'all about this. So Chris Evans responds to some articles by the Hollywood Reporter. Um, that Sam Wilson is Captain America, okay? So somebody phoned him in and said, hey, bro, we need your validation. Uh, say the lines, Q, Q role, and he, Q white savior, you know? Uh, and I respond, Sam Wilson is Falcon and shouldn't be accepting the chitlins of Steve Rogers. What's up with these white saviors? Ewan McGregor, McGregor talking about we stand with Moses Ingram. Y'all just like black folks that obey. And... I mean that, okay? I, I feel that when we try to, like Spider-Man, for instance, or uh, Miles Morales is Spider-Man, and Iron Man with uh, Riri Williams, Iron Heart. Um, even, it goes to the, you know, everybody else as well. They pass some shit on to a gay person, to a female, or fucking, you know, the Hulk got uh, Amadeus Cho. So we had an Asian to stop Asian hate. Just so shit like that, man. It's just real disrespectful and... and it, <laughs> it shows you which white people is making this shit, but it only it only makes sense to them to take characters that y'all already know who are these straight white men and just turn them into something. Just turn them into something. It pushes their agenda and it pisses us off in the process. <sighs> All right. And then so my issue with this is this person, not this person specifically but this mindset that's indeed anyway sam wilson is captain america 
also attacking Ewan for standing with a black woman facing racial harassment. Kind of weird. I don't even know if this person is black, but I checked them out. They post black uh, little gifts and got, you know, this is their profile picture. Uh, so they're not proud of their own blackness, but, you know, they got Jay-Z up there to represent. Um, whereas I have my original black character, you know. <laughs> but anyway... In my response, I, I didn't respond to that dumb shit because cause of this. Y'all love black so much. Where the Anthony Mackie Falcon solo movie at? You only see legitimacy in white characters. A phrase Young Ripper has repeated time and time again. So instead of being smart enough to ask that, you just accept him as Cap because some white guy said so and it took less work. But we racist though. Y'all hear me? Y'all can read. And this was a little, and this is why I told y'all the superhero squad thing, because because that was my first inter, uh, like kind of interaction with Falcon or first time seeing him. Um, I posted that because it's cool, man. Like that cartoon style. I feel like cartoons again. This is a, an example of cartoons really caring about the uh, initial uh, product, and you know what I'm saying where they're even at right now because of what came before. And that's his actual bird, uh, Red Wing, which is turned into a fucking drone in the movie. I would love to see an actual bird and to see Falcon communicating and, you know, seeing through birds eyes and them sort of like how Batman, how when sometimes you see him without the bats, you're like, oh, my goodness, this dude, he's he's so uh, he's even um, affecting like animal life. You know what I'm saying? Like the like biological shit. You know what I'm saying? His his demeanor, his presence, his energy. And that's what I, I would have liked to see with Falcon him. You know, fighting in his own movie, doing his superhero shit, uh, separate from Captain America, and using actual birds. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had, a, you know, in the MCU, they are out of the country, you know, uh, fighting, fighting enemies and whatnot, fighting villains. We could have seen birds from other places. That would have been dope. You know, I would have... But ain't nobody fighting for this. We just gonna accept this because it's here, because it's black, because white man says so. But I'm like, no, like, I wanna see Falcon. I wanna see him as his original character because he deserves that. He, he, he can stand on his own, especially if you, uh, if you it, it's just if you're gonna adapt him well enough in your movie. You know, they fucked over T'Challa and Black Panther. You, we saw the ratio. Black folks mad at me because because I say that, but bro, it's like you had T'Challa, but then he had his, his mother, uh, his sister, um, Okoye, uh, and his woman around him. My finger, my pinky don't blend, but and and her. So I'm like, our hero has to be surrounded by all these women. I heard something like that happen in Shang Chi. We about to see it as Falcon as fucking Captain America surrounded by uh, She Hulk. Uh, Kate Bishop, um, of America Chavez, uh, what other females? Uh, the, the the um the, the Marvels, all those. They just gonna make them a little fucking totally spies, little female squad. But that cartoon did it way better. <laughs> um, you know, just wh whoever the Black Widow, her sister, or that other chick. Just bro, it's the agenda is here. But because they just made these changes in comic books within the past decade, this this recent decade, um, it validates everything uh, that these people are saying now. It, it, it the the talking points, the justification, uh, the excuses, the NPC uh, patch notes, uh, downloads, updates are all there, and this is all these people have to cling to. And because they just speak lines that they've regurgitated, they can't think for themselves. They can't think of how racist it is to uh, accept um, him as Captain uh, Captain America, to accept that hand-me-down shield. But I don't know, I'm just gonna keep making videos and you know speaking my points, possibly uh, actually caring about this stuff uh, while you normies, um, loud normies, uh, just continue to. makes no difference to me i keep my money uh and you just get hyped for the next one um that's what consumption is uh, constant consumption you're just eating you're just eating you ain't taking into account do i need this 
um, what's in this. Uh, you can't be critical. That's a negative thing now, but hey, it's fun. All right, but that's all for this video, people. Go ahead, leave me a like or a dislike on this video. Um, be true to yourself. If those buttons are not enough, tell me how you're really feeling by leaving a comment down below. And if you find any uh, value in my opinion whatsoever and you want to hear more of my thoughts, I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So I'm not sure I get you. Give me a real fight. Chapter in the art of war about misdirection.